Today we're going to bring a doorknob. This is a two section doorknob that we have in here. They give you the actual template because you are going to require two holes and to also drill a hole on the bottom. And in case you don't have the drill bit, they included the drill bit of Phillips and the two sections you're going to require to set it up. So today we're going to set up both sections and include it, the keys in here and also instructions how to use the code because you are going to require to use the system. Old handle that we had here at the door. And so now, um, I remember that in the um, video with the unpacking, it came with a um, template here, right? So we've got it installed. You can see that this is working. Hold on, let me check out this one. And this one is working as well. Now we're gonna install the top plate. Yes. Yeah. Secure. Close is good. The keypad goes, it tells you it goes up. So make sure that um, you install it correct because if you don't, then you're gonna have a hard time installing the keypad in there. So now we're gonna connect the indoor plate or the back plate to it. You have part. to connect the electrical. So the screws will line up here in order for you to um, connect this and here inside of the plate. It does come with a rubber um, lining outside. So it's just a little bit loose, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and line that up. Make sure that you thread the cable inside. That way you're not um, having any issues with that. So once you've installed the batteries, you could uh, install the plate here okay and it's all set and so you have the key pad and you have your opener all right three ways to open the door one fingerprint two the code three the key so in this case we're going to test out the actual code that we just programmed we also going to set up programming of the actual fingerprints there later and not only that you could individually set up different people to open different codes with different codes and also different fingerprints too and of course distribute the keys as a last option so let's go ahead and test it out with the code and see how it works Yep, 